Hello my loves, welcome back. My name is Montel. If you are new, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So in today's video, I want to discuss some of the ways that you can increase your value in your 20s. So a question that I always find myself asking is how can I increase my value? How can I be doing more? How can I show up more? How can I be more powerful, more impactful? How can I contribute more to my communities and to the wider society? And just overall, how can I become the best version of myself? And it's definitely one of them questions that keeps me up at night. I know we all have those questions and thoughts and fears that keep us up at night and for me this is definitely top of the list it's a question that i'm always considering and always asking myself and always striving to improve on and that is the whole reason why i started my personal development journey so i could become more valuable because the truth is the more valuable you are the better quality life you are gonna have and when i say value i'm not just speaking on monetary value of course it is great to have money and to be seen valuable in that way and of course that's going to get you into certain positions certain lifestyles certain um, social scenarios and yes it is great to have money but there's people who have money and are still not classed as a valuable person. So when I speak about value and increasing your value in this video, I want us to be looking at how can we internally increase our value? How can we develop our skills, our personality, our behaviors, our patterns, our beliefs, our traits? These are all things that are internal within us. And these are things that will make us overall to be more of a valuable person regardless of the material because as I always say the material things can be taken at any point the money the cars the clothes the success all of that can be taken and what are you left with you're left with the person you are at your core the characteristics the skills the um, abilities that you have all of this is what can help build yourself back up to become a valuable person over and over again so that's the key thing that you really want to work on. And I know you're probably thinking, well, why should you care? Why should you care about being a valuable person or being perceived as valuable to other people? And although I understand that, yes, we shouldn't really care about other people's opinions in most cases, there are some scenarios in life where we do have to care about other people's opinions because it's other people that do have certain control over the opportunities, the experiences that we get and the lifestyle that we are able to live. So if you are perceived as a more valuable person, you're more likely to live a more fruitful life. You'll be presented with better opportunities, better career paths, lifestyle, family, friends, the whole experience of your life will just improve in quality when you really work on becoming a more valuable person. And also the more valuable that you are, the more you have a sense of security. And again, this does not just mean financial security, which if you are more valuable, you will have that financial security there, but it also stretches to all areas of your life. You are just gonna feel more secure and safe within yourself when you know that you've got options. Having value presents you with more options that you may not have if you're considered to be a less valuable person. And just going back to that example of, okay, yes, you've got money and maybe you're rich and you've got the money value and the materials there but if you don't have the skill set if you don't have the personality if you don't have the knowledge the wisdom the beliefs the drive the um, social skills then people are not gonna care about the money and they're not gonna see you valuable. So if you was to lose that, then what are you gonna be left with? So the way I really look at personal development and self mastery and becoming the best version of, of yourself is how can you do this internally? How can you change your mindset, change your identity at a cellular level, at a core level before you even get to the materials? Because all of this worldly stuff can be taken, but we need to focus on who we are. That was a very long intro into this video, but hopefully it's now making sense why it is great to work on becoming more valuable and I'm now 26, so I'm definitely moving up the ranges. I'm more towards the end of my 20s. Well, let me not say that. I'm still mid 20s, but I'm moving towards the late 20s, which is mad. And life just flashed by. So if you're watching this and you're 19, 20, 21, just about to go into your early 20s or in your early 20s, 
pay attention because I wish I knew this when I was younger because I would have got a head start. So I'm giving you the opportunity to have a head start in life now, get yourself ahead, become more of an asset to everyone around you, including yourself, so that when you move into your 30s, 40s, 50s, you're gonna be living such a more fruitful life. So number one to increasing your value in your 20s is to develop your VBV system. So this is actually something I am gonna be teaching tonight in my membership. We've got a bonus training happening. So if you're not yet in the membership, make sure you do go ahead and join and you'll most likely catch the replay of this training. But essentially the VBV system is something that I just personally made up and it stands for vision, beliefs and value system. So it's important that you create a strong vision for your life first and foremost. So how would you like your life to look? What do you want to achieve? What kind of lifestyle are you wanting to live? What are you wanting to build? How are you wanting to create impact? What's the mission that you are on for your life? And I know that this can feel like a big, scary, overwhelming question because we're so young. And when I say young, I'm talking about 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. We're all young babies on this planet, still not knowing what to do with our life or what's really going on. So regardless of your age, we're still young in this and we're still trying to figure it out. So I know that question can sometimes feel overwhelming. Okay, what's the vision for my life? And it's really just about making a vision for the right now, for where you're currently at in your life and how you're feeling and what you want to achieve right now. That's the vision you have to set. So if that's only three, four, five, ten 10 years in the future, then that's fine. We don't have to look any further than that, but you at least need to have a vision that grounds you to the actions that you are taking on a daily basis. And then it also will help to inform the belief system that you have and the value system that you're gonna create. So then the next thing to look at is your belief system. So this is what you believe to be true about the world, about yourself, about society, about working, career, about lifestyle experience. This is all of the beliefs that you hold, whether they are positive beliefs, limiting beliefs, changing beliefs, fixed beliefs, growth beliefs, we really need to be thinking about what do we believe to be true in life? And if we are not happy with our current belief system, we can change that, we can adopt new beliefs, we can um, reduce the amount of limiting beliefs that we have on our life. Because the reality that we're currently in all stems down to what we believe to be true about ourselves and our life. So again, with this question, you can see it more broadly and look at, okay, what do I believe about life? Or you can segment that down into different areas of your life. And like I say, this is something we are discussing in the training tonight. But just to give you a bit of an insight, how I like to do it is by looking at the eight core areas in life. And you may have heard of this to be um, called the wheel of life. And it's about looking at the different areas so relationship, career, finances, money, family, love, all of those different areas and asking yourself some basic questions like what do I believe to be true about this area? So what do I believe about career? What do I believe about working? What do I believe about relationships? And understand what your belief system is and where it may be a bit limiting, where you need to upgrade. But that again informs the reality of your life. So it's important to know what you do believe and what you do stand for because it will help you to be a more solid person and you will be then become more valuable because you are strong in who you are as a person and you are strong in your beliefs and people are going to be influenced by that. And then lastly, we have your values. So your values actually stem from your beliefs and it's the principles that you decide to live by so it's essentially what you feel is important in your life so once you've created your vision once you understand your belief system you can then inform okay these are the principles the values the behaviors that I hold myself to and this is the standard that I want to set for my life so when you are clear on your VBV system this almost becomes a life manual because anything you want to do in life any decision you want to make any opportunity that you presented with you can go back to your VBV and think, okay, does this align with the vision that I'm heading on? Does this align with my belief system? And does this hold up to the standard of my values? And if the answer is yes, then amazing. You know that you're moving in the right direction. 
if the answer is no, then you can kind of reject. And this is how you are going to become more valuable because you are strong in what you believe and who you stand on what you stand for and who you are. And a great example here is just looking at some of the high performance athletes we have, high performance coaches, mentors. You can see that they have a system that they live by and it informs every single decision they make in their life, right down to the smallest decisions. So yeah, definitely get your VBV in place if you want to learn more make sure you ah i just bit my tongue if you want to learn more make sure you join the membership and you can learn more about that so the second way to increase your value is to expand your network whilst you are in your early 20s mid 20s even late 20s and you've got all the energy go out there and meet new people network use that energy to build your networks because i know that you have heard the saying your network is your net worth and it is so true some of the most talented people in this world have still gone unnoticed because they don't have a network they're not in the right circles they're not around the right people they don't have the right amount of clout they they don't have the answers so they're just kind of stuck in a place of having all this talent and not having anything to do with it and then on the other side of the spectrum, we've got people who have no talent at all, let's be honest. And they are receiving all the opportunities because they're in the right places, they know the right people, they've got the right networks. It's important to start building and expanding our networks from as young as we possibly can because we don't know how that person or how that connection could benefit us in the future, whether that's a couple years later, five years later, 10, even 20 years later, if you present yourself as a, an approachable person, and if you become well connected to certain people, and if you um, are able to demonstrate what you have to offer and the skills that you can provide, you can get yourself so much more further ahead by simply knowing the right person. Because there's always gonna be people who need what you have to offer, but if they don't know that you exist, then you're not gonna get the opportunities. So this is your sign right now to log on to eventbrite.co.uk or .com if you're in the US or wherever else in the world. And I want you to see what type of local events are going on in your area right now that of course relate to you, your interests, your skill set, And you will be surprised at the amount of events that happen locally that you can attend, a lot of them for free, and you can expand your network that way. So that is exactly what I did when I was starting my journey of expanding my networks. And my journey really started on Twitter. I was always on Twitter making new friends and going to events and connecting with people. And then from Twitter that expanded to me going on Eventbrite and looking for different networking events. And I still do it and I probably should do it a lot more than I do now. But sometimes I even ask myself the question of, oh, I wish I could just get out there more. And then I remember, that there's events happening everywhere all the time. We just have to look for them. So use Eventbrite, use Twitter, use Instagram, use LinkedIn, find events, and don't be afraid to go alone as well. I think that's one thing that holds a lot of people back, not having anybody to go to these events with. And I can guarantee you will have a much better experience if you go alone than if you go with people. Because if you go with people that you're familiar with and you're connected with already, the chances are you'll just stick in a little bubble with them and then you become less approachable to new people and the point of you going to these events is to network and to meet new people so if you're just going to go with the same people who you already know then you're not expanding your network as effectively as you could be if you was by yourself so number three to increase your oh <laughs> that's my timer by the way i started setting a timer for 20 minutes for my videos just because i found that Filming was getting way too long, so I wanted to um, challenge myself to film every video in 20 minutes, but I'm not even halfway through this video. <laughs> and my 20 minutes is done. So I'm gonna have to reset that, but let's keep going. So, so the third way to increase your value is to play up to your skills. I am tired of people acting like they have no skills, have no talents, all because they're afraid of shining and they don't want to dim anybody else's light. This, can we just leave that in 2020 or whatever year because we are not doing that anymore. It's 2022, life is really lifing out here. 
Opportunities are really out here. So if you're somebody who wants to stand in the shadows, nobody's gonna pull you back out because everybody is trying to get their own shine. So you need to be the one to shine your light and realize that it doesn't take away from anybody else. You have to shout from the rooftops how talented you are, why you deserve opportunities, why you are the best fit, why you are the most qualified. Because if not, somebody who's less qualified is gonna come and sweep that right under your feet. And the only person stressed, frustrated, and feeling like it's unfair is gonna be you. So we really need to play up to our skills. And this is how we're gonna become and be perceived as more valuable because if you are playing up to the skills that you know you have, people are gonna look at you and think, oh, well, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she's talking about. She's got the right skills and immediately you're gonna become more powerful and more valuable. And I know there's a conversation around should you play up to your skills or should you work on what you're not great at? And I fully believe that you should play up to your skills. If I know I am great at um, public speaking, if I know I'm great at um, content creation, why would I then want to focus on knitting? I mean, of course I can take that up maybe as a hobby, but that's not my skill set. So why am I gonna waste time improving something that is not my skill set when I can work on mastering and getting even better at the thing I'm already skilled at and become known for that and become the most valuable person in that? So I do believe that, especially in our 20s, if we know that we're skilled at something, let's work towards that. And it's as simple as that. So if you know you're skilled in something, share it with the world, show them what you're made of. And this is how you are not only gonna be more valuable, but live a more fulfilling life because you're working towards things that you actually enjoy and you're actually good at. So number four to increase your value is to engage in new conversations. So similarly to going to events, networking, meeting new people, you also want to make sure that you are engaging in different conversations conversations that you wouldn't normally engage in even if it feels uncomfortable for you so I found that recently I'm really pushing myself out there and engaging in conversations that normally I wouldn't really have an opinion on so I just keep quiet but what I'm learning is the more comfortable you become in engaging in different conversations and learning how to na navigate those conversations the more valuable you will be perceived because you're going to be able to open up the doors to new people and and build new connections with people that you wouldn't always have had that connection with but you've been able to find a common ground whatever the topic is just start practicing how to hold basic conversations with these topics because then like I say you're opening the doors to people who you wouldn't really have had a conversation with before and you don't know who they're linked to you don't know op what opportunities they can bring you in on and yes, you don't have to be the smartest person. You don't have to be the most educated on all of these different topics, but the fact that you're willing to participate and engage in the conversation is a great start. So number five on increasing your value in your 20s is to limit access to yourself. So this is my personal opinion, but I found that as you get older, you tend to have less friends. You have more quality, more valuable friends, but overall your circle becomes more intimate, a lot, a lot smaller. And that is a great way to have it, to be honest, because you do want to be limiting the people who have access and exposure to you, especially if you are with people who are maybe not quality people to have around or maybe toxic people or people who are always engaged in different drama or other things you really just want to be limiting that access to you because that does help you to be perceived as a more valuable person because you're not everywhere and anywhere you're not in every single club you're not on every street corner you're not on every event you, you're just not around like that you're not outside like that i mean you can be outside of course but you want to make sure that the people that you are around are people who are going to uplift you, people who are quality, people who add value to your life and you're able to add value to their life. And yeah, it's just really about not allowing everybody to be in your energy, to be around you, to have access to you, to be able to call you at all hours because if they're the type of people that you have around you, what does that say about who you are? And there's a saying that you become the sixth person of the five people you hang around the most. So you wanna make sure that you are doing your best to elevate 
the situations that you're in and the circles that you're in. I kind of feel like this happens automatically as you get older anyway, because of course you're not at university, school, college and all of those things. So you, a lot of people tend to drop off and you've just got the quality people left. So this is a process that can sometimes happen naturally, but also do be mindful of it as well, because it really can benefit you in the future if you have limited access to yourself. And then the sixth way to become more valuable is to stay updated with world news. So kind of similar to engaging in different conversations, also stay up to date with world news, things that happen in your industry, and just stay on top of what is going on in the world. And by this, I'm not just talking about the celebrity news, the gossip, the blogs, things like that. I'm talking about real life events that are happening that could affect us in our lifetime could affect other people, the um, people that you're engaging in the conversation with, things that are happening in your industry. And the more you're able to stay on top of that and be informed, the more you're able to confidently engage in different conversations and people are gonna look at you like, oh wow, like, yeah. I needed to know that and the more you can give people that feeling of yes yeah, she really knows what she's talking about the more you're going to be perceived as valuable so yeah that is it for this one hope you did enjoy and like I say if you are in your early 20s please treat this as a head start because you've got a perfect advantage right now so get yourself ahead of the game We've seen how quickly life is moving. We've seen the opportunities. We've seen how people who are perceived with more value are living life right now. So if you wanna get there, these are some of the ways that you can. So yeah, hope you did enjoy. If you're interested in joining the membership, all the details will be down below and I will see you in the next one. Peace.